In 1977, George Lucas released Star Wars, the first installment of the now epic series. Even though Star Wars takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, the story is so universally relatable that it has permeated pop culture and has helped us tell new stories ever since, through intertextuality. Intertextuality is the shaping of text meanings by other texts. Typically, it involves an author's borrowing and transformation of a prior text or to a reader's referencing of one text in the reading of another. Star Wars itself is a reference to the 1958 Kurosawa film The Hidden Fortress. In Star Wars, George Lucas popularized the idea of a used future, in which things mostly appear gritty, worn, and dilapidated. This vision of a rusty, dented future was meant to be experienced more as a reality rather than fantasy. What a piece of junk! She'll make point five past light speed. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. In 1982, Ridley Scott adopted this vision of a used future and built the world of Blade Runner around it. So in the distant future of 2019, there is filth and decay alongside futuristic technologies. Since then, the used future has become commonplace in science fiction. From Terry Gilliam's masterpiece Brazil, to the BBC science fiction hit Red Dwarf, or the US television series Firefly, this used future is a prime example of intertextuality. Other, more obvious forms of intertextuality involving Star Wars are even more commonplace. I leave you now with a mashup of references to Star Wars and pop culture. Good luck, and may the Force be with you. Um... You want to take your shirt off. You want to take your shirt off. God. Excuse me, Imperial Guard. Do these arson trials typically last? And I don't really think it's fair for me to be on a jury because I'm a hologram. When Han Solo returns to the Death Star in the Millennium Falcon and shoots down the TIE fighters and saves the rebel cause, do you think he does so for a free beer? Limited edition Chewbacca Pez, Pez dispenser? dispenser. And not individual Pez, whole packs. Get out of here. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. When they blew up the Death Star, knowing full well there were thousands of stormtroopers on it, those were people? Well, it was called the Death Star, baby. They knew what they were getting into. Adventure, excitement, Jedi craves not these things. Give me that knife! Oh, it's mine! Homer, use the fork. The fork? The forks. Use the forks. Oh. Gee, I sure would like to grow up and be a Jedi frog like my father. If only a beautiful princess would send for me so I could leave home and save the universe. Hot five. That's cold, Obi-Wan. <laughs>